Welcome to Joints, Pin Joint Trusses Stability. In this short video, I want to help drive home the concept of a system being statically determinate. I will do that by exploring some simple examples of pin joint trusses. Let's look at three simple pin joint truss systems. In pin joint trusses, the unknowns tend to be reaction forces. Since the members can rotate freely at the joints, they cannot resist moments. Thus, we will not have moments as our unknowns. Notice that these three systems are all in 2D, so we have three balance equations to work with. We need three unknowns to have a statically determinate system. There is an equation we can use to check if the trusses are statically determinate as well. The equation is m plus r equals 2 times j, where m is the number of members, r is the number of reactions, and j is the number of joints. Notice that the systems are attached at the bottom, so all three of them have four reactions. All three of them will also have four joints. However, the first system only has three members, which creates an inequality in the equation where we end up with seven, which is less than eight. As a result, we have an under-constrained system with less unknown reactions than balance equations. Without enough reaction forces to keep the system stable, we will call the system unstable. On the second system, we have four members. As a result, we end up with the equality satisfied where eight equals eight. This means that the system is properly constrained and can be in equilibrium. We can call this system stable or determinate. This last system has five members. We end up with nine greater than eight, such that we have more unknowns than we can solve for with the balance equations we have. We would need more equations to solve the system. Thus, the system is over-constrained or indeterminate. Although these systems have been fixed to the ground, we can also add rollers to them. Rollers will allow these systems to slide and reduce the number of reaction forces in the system. This system, for example, has three reaction forces, two from the fixed point and one from the roller. Note that since the roller can roll along the x direction, we will not have a reaction force along the x axis. We can count nine members and six joints. Since we get the equality to work out, this system is statically determinate. Let's try a system with two rollers now. This system with two rollers can really slide. We only have two reaction forces, both directed along the y axis. But just like before, we will count nine members and six joints. What happens is that because we now have less reaction forces, we end up with less unknowns. When we have less unknowns than the number of balance equations, our system is under constrained and consequently unstable. All right guys, this is all for now. I hope you understand a bit better what it means to have a statically determinate or stable system.